Well, hello stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper and I am a little bit late. My goal is every Wednesday right around 10 a.m. I want to do something called stamping through my stash. Now I don't know about you, but I sometimes buy more stuff than I have time to use or I get really caught up on a certain suite or a stamp set or paper and I just go crazy and create with it and create with it and create with it and I don't give equal love to all of my stamps. So I want to share with you today um, the stamp set called Sweet Little Stockings and the beautiful paper that goes with it. So let's take a peek. I have the mini catalog sitting here because there is a um, sale going on right now and I'll, I'll go through it later at the end to show you what's, um, what's being carried over for next year and what you should get if you didn't get a chance yet. But in the meantime, let's take a look at this stamp set. Here we go. It is called Sweet Little Stockings, and it's perfect because it's got dogs and cats. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't choose. I love them both. Um, they both have such different personalities. And I think I even have, I found a card kit that my team member, Yvonne McFadden, gave me. I've given the card away already, so I don't have a sample to follow. So hopefully I'll do it right. But stick with me and I'm going to make a card with this stamp set. And here are the dies. So I really like this great big one. It's good for a banner on a card. So it's a stitched banner card. And then you've got three different stockings, a Santa hat, um, a present, a couple different presents. All kinds of cuteness actually. Um, dies to cut out those little heads. This, honestly, if I'm totally honest, I like the paper even more than the stamp set. So we have this really cute stitched paper. And on the other side, we've got some um, some really cats with some huge personality. That cat is not happy with the antlers on its head. And, and the cat, that other cat with the wreath around its head, that's a funny looking cat. I wasn't sure if that was a cat or a dog, but judging by the tail, it's a cat. But I don't know, you guys, I'd like to hear your opinion on that. Okay, on whether you think that looks more like a cat or a dog. And I have done a typical squirrel thing. When I go live on YouTube and uh, Facebook, I should have my laptop in front of me that I can see the comments. But I was too excited. I was running late. And so I don't have that. So I'm not answering your comments till afterwards. So whenever people say, oh, I'm sorry, I missed you live. I just say, you know what? It doesn't matter. Um, we'll talk later. Chat with each other. Okay, so then we have this with the... Um, the cute uh, vintage Christmas lights. And then on the other side, I love this this pool party plaid. It goes with all the different patterns. So really nice. I love this one. I love the cat on this one. He looks like he's so excited. He's going to catch something. And that, that dog is just so happy. And my very favorite of all of them is this happy dog with the Christmas lights wrapped around himself. He's just like, wow. Um, and let's have a look. I've got more. Okay, that's this I've already shown you. Then the stockings cut out with the dies. <clears throat> and then on the other side, we've got a starry background in um, ever, evening evergreen. And then we've got this stripe. Whenever I see stripes like this, for some reason, I'm rem reminded of wrapping paper. So I think that's it. I'm, no, there's more. This is an assorted pack where I've combined a few different different packs of paper together. Oh yeah, so here, this one's cute with the little stockings. And then we have this really fun stripe and the dogs that I showed you already. I think we've, oh yeah, and then the other side of the happy dogs is this nice red stripe. So you can see how the patterns just go together really well. You can mix and match. And then we've got the, the lights. I think I've showed you everything now. Okay we can get started on stamping. All right, wish me luck and stay with me. We'll move this out of the way. So I'm, got, I'm not going to fussy cut this. I have a, oh man, we don't need that. Okay, I hope we don't need that. We have, maybe we do. This is the card, does it go on here? Let's see. I guess it could. Well, anyway, we're going to start with this. This is how it looks. You've got all these bits and bobs, and we're going to get started on putting it together. So this is a bit of a mystery. I'm going to lay it like, well, like this for now. Now we have these two pieces. We'll put those together first. They go here. I know that. Okay. 
Let's do that first. Grab some liquid adhesive. And this is going to be a surprise, people, how this turns out. Um, now, this set is not carrying over, okay? So if you want this stamp set and these dies, I think the dies are on sale, actually. There are certain dies that are up to 50% off. So check that out. I did put links in my blog post today. So I'm just going to slide that over a little bit. There. Okay. And since I don't have the measurements, I'm sorry. Um, maybe I'll post them later. I didn't cut them myself. And um, yeah, this is a, this is going to be a fun fold card. That is for sure. I hope I'm doing it right. That's all I can say. If not, you can laugh along with me. There. Let's just see. Let's slide that up a little bit. That is the benefit of using liquid adhesive. You can manipulate a little bit. Okay, so now we have a bunch of these and two of these. Let's see. Okay, yep, that looks good. And here. If Yvonne is watching and she has this card at home, she might be laughing at me if I'm doing it wrong. The tricky part, oh, you know what? I'm going to wait with that. Yeah, I'm going to wait with that because there's something. We're going to put these on here. I have a little trick. In this card is a piece of acetate that bridges across. And I want to sandwich that acetate in between the cardstock and, and just a second. Is this one longer? If I messed up, did I mess up? I did mess up. Just a second, I'm not gonna lay that down just yet. There's two pieces, one is longer than the other. Oh no, we did it, I did it right, okay. We're good. Here. There. And then this one on the other side. I have this set up a little, this, this setup that I have on my desk is not ideal. Um, I'm kind of working off to the side. I'm thinking it's not going to be good for my back. I'm not working with the project right in front of me because the cameras are, yeah, it's, it's a little bit weird. Here we go. Sometimes I think it would be fun if Gerard was here. There could be a camera that showed you what I was doing because it's crazy. So now this piece is going to go across like... Oh, did I do it wrong? No, this goes, yeah, okay. This is going to go just a little bit of adhesive on the bottom here, like so. I did this class with some beginner stampers. Can you believe it? Crazy me. See, so it's just adhering to, and don't worry, that tape will, that, that glue will dry clear, but it's getting covered up anyway, okay? So now I'm going to put this over top. I know you're thinking, what is going to happen with this card? And you know, actually, this is the first time I'm making this card. I did a class on it and I just kind of walked them through it, but I never made it myself. So this is going to go on here, there, and now I've lost the other one. Goodness. No. Oh yeah, here, okay, good, 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 good. I was worried. I don't know where this one went, so I'm just going to put these underneath and maybe it will show up. Yeah, it's gone. Is it stuck to my arm? I don't know. Well, we're going to do this. That's so weird. Don't you hate it when things disappear? It does happen. It happens to stampers all the time. And you know what? I think. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? This I need this to be on top. I don't want this to be on top. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut another one. This is wrong. It's okay, people. I told you this was gonna be interesting. I'm not disappointing you. Okay. 
I will have to measure and cut, won't I? I'll have to cut another one. No problem. And let's lay this on here. That's the side that I wanted because we want to mix and match patterns. We don't want um, there, and that's going to go here. And I think that this was supposed to be on the outside and the other piece was supposed to be in the inside, but this card is going to be different. There. Yeah, that's definitely what happened. Oh, I, no. <laughs> okay. Ruler is here. Okay, so for this piece, it is one inch by four inches. Okay, we're going to throw that out. Grab the cutter. So we need one inch by four inches of that pretty plaid. Now I have to find it again. It's hiding in here. It's a smaller piece. I remember that. Here we go. So one inch by four inch. Let's see, I'm hoping that's four inches. It is. Okay, wonderful. One inch. There. And then we'll find another piece and we'll cut that too. There we go. Where there is a will, there is a way. This was supposed to be stress-free stamping and I haven't even started stamping. Have you noticed that? I haven't stamped a thing from that stamp set yet. We got straight into the card making. I should have warmed up with some stamping first. Um, there. So that, so the, the, the plaid piece is one inch by four inches and the pool party piece is one and an eighth by four and an eighth. Okay, we figured that out. And, you know, when you mix and match patterns, there's really not a right and a wrong. So that's going to go here. And then, oh, I know. I think I was supposed to put a piece of white in between. This white was supposed to go underneath here because that was supposed to be white in between. But since I forgot to do that, we're going to cut a piece now. And we're going to make it three inches by four and an eighth. So we'll cut that. <clears throat> three inches and we'll just fit that right in there see that works and here we go I'm just trying to you can tell that I didn't cut perfectly straight that's okay hopefully people won't be looking at that and now on the front, it's going to go like this. We need to cut out our dog. So we're going to fussy cut our dog. Let me see. Um, grab some scissors. Okay. So I don't know if I want, well, I guess I do want those. We'll start with the most difficult part, which is these cute little lights at the end. If you twist the paper as you cut, it goes a lot easier. And, and if you leave a little white edge, you can just go fairly quickly. This is a great job to do while you're watching some Netflix, a Hallmark movie. You know, you can fussy cut a lot of the images in here. There's not dyes for everything. There's dyes for the stockings and for some of the animals, I think. But I really love this dog. He's the happiest one. So you can actually make cards without the stamp set. I shouldn't be telling you that. But um, you can. Now mind you, there's some pretty cute stamps in there. We're going to see them in a minute. But I want to show you how this card works. There we go. Go around his paws. So like I said, don't forget to check out the clearance rack. There's some really cute, the ladybug trinkets are on there. There's some nice ribbon. There's some embossing folders. There's paper. Now, mind you, some of that stuff disappears pretty quickly. I used self-control, and I thought, you know what? I'm not ordering just yet. I've put a host code. It's always on my blog. So if you order for me and you live in Canada, like can't 
Stampin' Up! has a thing that you can't, if you live in the States, you can't order from a Canadian. And if you live in Canada, you can't order from an American. So I just say that so that if you are in the States and you try to, I shouldn't have fussy cut so funny around those lights. I'm making it way too difficult. Goodness, I'm shocked that I haven't cut a light off yet. I should have just done this a little bit bigger. There. And this piece. Oof. Oh, now I've got the shakes. All right, there we go. So now he will get rid of all that stuff. He's going to sit on this piece that goes across. See, like this. Isn't that fun? So now we're just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the one side of him, on this side, and a little bit on the bottom. And that'll hold him down. Give me a little bit more. And here we go. I'm just going to lay them like this. Look how cute. See, and then I think, then there's this and that, and then we're going, I was going to cut out the little cat to put on the bottom. And I thought, yeah, there's a little piece that's going to go across here, and it's going to say, um, let's have a look. We're going to stamp. We're going to stamp. We're going to say very merry. And then in the inside, we're going to say stamp. You can tell exactly which stamps have been used. <laughs> They're stained. Okay. Let's have a look. My fingers are not working. So we have Very Mary and we have Santa Claus. And you know what? I'm going to use the Stamparatus just to be safe. Now, I should have, I've been a bad example, I should have stamped first before adhering. That's a good rule. Like here, it's a good thing. Um, I'm going to lay that right like so, because if you mess up on your stamping, then your card isn't ruined. You can just cut another piece. So I'm doing very merry here. So in my card, that's why I'm using the Stamparatus. It's just a bit of extra insurance. So I'm using real red. Actually, I should probably use cherry cobbler because the cardstock is cherry cobbler. Okay. Let's have a look. Here we go. I've got it. It's really important. Stampin' Up! has the coordination. It doesn't look nice if you use real red ink with cherry cobbler cardstock. It just, you know, it's like clothes. You just have to do it right. I'm starting to get a little messy here. See, and so I used the Stamparatus because the first stamp wasn't good. Let's do it again. Oh yeah, that's nice. But look, I moved from the corner. It's it's messy. So we're going to flip it and do it again. I wasn't paying attention. I'm getting a little stressed out. Breathe, Jackie. Breathe. It's okay. Stamp. And then make sure it's tight in the corner. And stamp again. Oh, I'm really not doing a good job today. It's okay. It was super late last night. I had a team party. Let's see. I think this can go at the top. Very merry. Yeah. I'm going to use it, even though it's not perfect. And then, you know, when you have a team party and it was just so much excitement, there was such a buzz of excitement because it had been so long since we'd been together. And then when everybody left, I, you know, you can't go to sleep right away. So I watched a little Netflix, I had a bath, I had a glass of wine, I finished my chocolate cake, and then um, it was late, it was 1 a.m. So I wasn't quite able to do my, let's see, my 6.30 wake up time. So I'm running a little bit behind. So now, tuck that into the corner. We're gonna lay this up here. Santa Paws is coming to town. Oh, we want to move that out of the way. Whoops. Let's see. I have my chamois here. Clean off the stamps before you put them back in the case. Otherwise, you get a big mess. Okay. And put them back because otherwise they get lost and you forget where they're from. Okay. I have to re-ink my cherry cobbler, as you can see. Oh, 
Well, you know what? One more. Looks a little vintagey when it's all ombre like that, doesn't it? There. That's nice. So then let's have a peek. Our card is looking quite nice, isn't it? Isn't that cute? Oh look, <laughs> I forgot about this red piece missing. Oh my goodness. Okay, I just want to see if I can find it. It's driving me crazy that that piece could just disappear like that. Maybe it flipped underneath. It did not. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to cut another one. Let's get the ruler. Let's see. So it is also one inch by, let's see. Oh, it's one inch by three and seven eighths. Um, yeah, one inch by three and seven eighths. Okay, help me remember that. I know I'm going to find that piece later. Just honestly, does this happen to other people? And then I think, well, do I want to cut into that whole big piece? Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm going to. I'm just too lazy to go and look for it. One inch by three and seven. One inch by three and seven eighths. We go then we can finish this card properly three and seven eighths and who would have thought eh, to put cherry cobbler with pool party okay there we go I'll, I'll let you know where I find this piece if I find it sometimes it's like the dryer and socks you know socks get swallowed up now that I'm living alone I don't have that problem so much anymore there we go. Okay. Did I do it right? I did. See, so this flips up. There's a name for this card. And then this flips up. And then we did have here, you know what, let's do it. We're going to actually, we're going to cut. We could just lay this whole thing out. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I talked myself into it just so you can see the cuteness. And I'm not leaving a white edge, which I told you would be easier. And then I'm not listening to myself. But you see how I did start with the small pieces? That does help. And when you do that, there, it helps if you hold your fingers underneath too, for some stability. There. Yeah, you just can't resist this cuteness. I could have just stamped on there, and that would have been fun too, but all these colors, the little striped tail from that cat. This cat looks just like the cat that's at my mom's house. It's a, we call it, have you ever read the book, The Afternoon Cat? Well, that afternoon cat visits all kinds of people, and this cat at my parents goes to all the places in the neighborhood. So he comes to my mom's at lunchtime, and at supper time, and then he goes to different places. And my mom says that when I'm there, the cat comes earlier. And this cat drools when you pet him. I've never seen a cat, like he drools a lot. And he purrs and he's just, oh, just a really good cat. A mouser, sometimes he gets so fat because he eats mom's food and he still catches mice and squirrels. No, not squirrels. He doesn't eat squirrels, but he does catch chipmunks, which is kind of sad because chipmunks are super cute. Chipmunks are even cuter than squirrels. Don't tell the squirrels I said that. Okay, take a peek. Look, how cute is that? Oh my goodness. Okay, now if you hate fussy cutting, you could just cut it square off the bottom and then you wouldn't have had to cut those, those ribbons. And I'm gonna leave the ribbons without glue. Look at that. Oh my goodness. All right, so get that paper while you can. And because I didn't glue the ribbons down, they kind of pop up a little bit. So there's the card. Isn't that fun? Thanks, Yvonne, for this great card. Okay, now do you guys still want to stamp? Um, I don't know why I have that piece. Let's have a look. Well, that's the only piece of white that I have, so I'm going to use it, I guess. Let's have a look. See, I wanted to just use a scrap of white. Bear with me. Now, of course, when you want a scrap of white, 
you cannot find a scrap of white. So I'm going to use a whole sheet here, but I don't want to use a thick whisper white card base. Let's just have a look and see what the other stamps look like. So we have the cat, we have the dog, we have stockings. You know what? I don't know if I'm going to do them all. I'm, I'm running out of patience. Let's have a look. These would color beautifully with blends as well. So there's definitely lots of um, opportunities here. Got my memento. Oh look, there's an extra stamp here. One, two, three, four, five. That's cute. I've got to clean them off before we stamp some more. And you know what? I think maybe I'll do them all with memento. I was going to do um, here. Look, we're going to do this and this and this all at once. See, when you get a stamp, it's a good idea to ink them all up right away so that you can see if they're working well, it gets you inspired. And that's kind of what I want to do with this stamp through my stash. Here you can see how cute the, oh, look how cute they are. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I'm glad I stamped them. And now there's a few more stockings. There's a present. Um, there's some other things. There's, oh, there's a cute little XXX, like for stitching. Here's a present. And some more words. This, these words fit right on the tag that has a die. Okay, let's have a look. Here. And a candy cane to put in the stocking. And there's a die for that too. This is a great little thing if you want to stamp the afternoon away. You have to do these things. You have to tackle these projects when you have patience and time. Okay? So... Those two are in short supply with the squirrel at 81 Delaware. And I do know that the from is crooked. I don't care. Here, one, two, three, four, five. Isn't that cute? Oh, my from's upside down too. Oh, well, <laughs> it's a good thing it's not on something. All right, let's see what else we have. We have a present left. There's a lot of stamps in this one. So don't lose them, those little ones. Make sure you put them back in your case right away. Here we have that one. And can I fit two on here? I can. Okay. And let's do them up here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, quite adorable, aren't they? Let's see. Now we still have the present and this is some word, a little bit of greenery, some stars. And the thing is, think outside the box. This does not have to be a Christmas stamp set. Even though it includes Christmas, it can be birthday. Okay. Just a sec. for you. And then there's a Merry Christmas, a nice big one. That's the last one. So when you have a long stamp like that, lay it down and then pick it up. Okay. And that way it's going to be straight. Oh, there's another one. This one's skinny. And again, laying it down and then there. And then we're almost done people. You could have a good look at the paper at the stamp set and at my fun card that was a bonus I wasn't planning on making that card and then it just fell out of my paper stash oh that's not good see my Christmas greetings see how it's not inked up properly sometimes when you use a photopolymer stamp set for the first time that will happen the ink will kind of um, yeah what's the word for it I want I don't want to say puddle but it's kind of like water on a windshield there, Christmas greeting, sending lots of love. So there you have it. That's the stamp set. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, 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 oh. I almost forgot. We have to go through the catalog for a second. I want to show you what is going. Okay, I'm not going to make it too long. Um, the only thing in the gingerbread and peppermint suite that's staying are the frosted gingerbread bundle, 
the Real Red ruffled mini ruffled ribbon and the craft paper. Super happy that the craft paper is staying. Um, all these things are leaving, so get them while you can. These dies are, I think, 50% off right now. Um, this is staying, so I'm really happy about that. The Christmas season and the Christmas to remember. They're um, just gorgeous. I did a beautiful vintage card with that a couple weeks ago on my um, primetime group. So they're staying, that one and this one here. Okay, so that's wonderful. And let's see, these are retiring. These dies are 50% off. Um, this is staying, the silver foil cardstock. It's beautiful. This is the stamp set that I use for my parcels in the post. And that's a really good one. And it goes with the encircled in warmth and encircled in beauty dies. Okay, they're in the annual catalog. These snowflakes are staying. They're iridescent white snowflakes. They're also included in my parcels in the post. The peaceful deer is staying and the punch. And in the spring catalog, there's another um, deer that fits into that punch. So that's nice. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, here's the, this is all retiring. Okay, so there's felt that goes with it. There's really nice matte dots. There's a nice ribbon. And then say, take a peek at these cute cards. Isn't that adorable? Here you can see how the, the dog and the cats fit in the stockings and the presents. Our catalogs are fantastic idea books, okay? So that's nice. The Penguin is staying. I have seen so many cute cards with this set. I love it and I don't have it. Um, yeah, it's going. The Knit stamp set is staying, but I don't think the dies are. And the dies, let me just show you a card. One sec. I'm going to do this card with my primetime group on Thursday. So this background, that knit, is a stamp set. And then these are actually holes that are cut with the dies that go with that stamp. And those dies are not returning. So the Knit Together Bundle, let me see if you can see that the dies go with it. It's really a fantastic card. You can see how they used it here. And on this card, they used it to make a stencil and they used our paste. So that's really cool. Maybe I should make that card instead. Um, yeah, what else? The cabin, oh my gosh. The cabin stamp set is leaving us. The snowy white velvet paper is staying. The timber embossing folder is staying. And the glittered organdy ribbon is staying. But that beautiful cabin paper and the, and the you want you really want that set. Someone told me, it's here it is, it was the nicest stamp they've ever had. I love it so much. And just really nice sayings as well. The polar bear is leaving us. Another great set. I just finished a, a whole month of cards with that set. Um, the, I don't know about the red velvet paper. It's all going. The, um, the gold shimmer ribbon is staying, so that's good. This is all leaving. The squirrel is staying. I have to ink him up. I just got him. The black gingham ribbon is staying. These dies are half price, or is it a punch? The punch is half price, I think. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. The cork paper is leaving. That cork paper is awesome. The Nature's Harvest bundle is staying. The time-worn type embossing folder is staying, and these metallic dots are staying. So that's good. Um, this is a fantastic set. It's going. Um, going, going, going. This set is going, and I love these dies. They are so nice. Check out my blog post for the tags. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I've got this one. Maybe I have to stamp with this one next time. I love this. Fun. It's just so happy, this stamp set, and I haven't used it yet. So that's it, guys. Now we're actually done. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me see if I can find my mouse. And da -da 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 -da. here I am. So thanks. I apologize if I wasn't in the frame where you see my, my face or my head bending over my stamps, but it's so hard to coordinate everything, and I'm not the most coordinated person. Anyway, it's been fantastic spending some time with you. I will look through the comments later. If you're watching on YouTube and you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Bottom right corner, there's a red button. Click on it and you'll be set to go. All right, here we are. This is where you can find me in other places. My blog. Um, I blog three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And um, it's a great place for inspiration and some fun to laugh sometimes. 
You can find me on my website to shop, Facebook for stories, and if you want to contact me, there's my email.